What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast, here, and today, welcome back to some more Ghost of Tabor on the channel. And guys, I have been so excited to make videos on here, man. Like, it has just been so addicting and so replayable and i haven't had a game like this in a very long time like this literally reminds me of like my initial hype of jumping into like the call of duty days and now to have this extraction looter shooter in a vr setting you can't ask for anything more, man. It has been so good. And, like, literally the queue-ups for games have been, like, so instant. Like, the fact that servers populate that quickly in this, and it works so well. I mean, obviously there are some bugs that come up, like, here and there. But for the most part, the pros have been outweighing the cons for me. I don't know how you guys personally feel about it. But if you guys have different views on your experience, be sure to leave some comments down below. I'd love to see what you guys are running into if you've been really enjoying the game. If you haven't really been liking it as much. Whatever else, like, I love hearing the opinions, man, because, like, Ghost of Deboer, the only way that this game is going to move forward is by hearing these criticisms and having their team willing to work on those faults and really push this game forward. But for today, we're going to be going back to our roots, and what that means is we're going to be going back into some missile silo and trying out another solo run here on the channel. And one of the biggest things that we've been working on is we've been trying to grow a collection recently. And I'm sure you guys have already seen some of this, but we are trying to collect as many spoons as possible. I want to have these entire shelves loaded with this silverware, man. I want to have so many spoons to the point like where literally the game freezes on launch because I have so many spoons. That's how many I want to collect. If you guys do end up enjoying this video, would like to see more content made on some more Ghost of Tabor, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time we go and hop into some of the raids of Ghost of Tabor. But before we can actually go and do that, I do need to go and get a new Glock because the recent fights that I've been getting into, I've been unfortunately uh, losing a bit of my fights. I was playing live on stream with Temvarian the other day where basically we found a bomb field and I didn't like really read into the sign. Like I literally saw it and it, it showed a bomb on it and it, it said stuff like pose our minds or something. And I was like, I didn't think much of it. I was like, they didn't implement any of those IEDs or anything like that. Like there's definitely no proximity mines. So I just walked into the sand and then Tanvarian comes up. He's like, Hey, look at the sign, man. Like it says bombs. I was like, ah, oh, there's nothing there. But then when I made my way back, I kind of got kapuya and uh, I lost everything that I had. So what I have to do for this video is I kind of want to go in with my Glock and the flashlight, but in the same way, bro, we could easily go and throw one of these flashlights on an M4 and take that in, man. And we haven't really done any M4 runs. I'm actually like so down for that. Okay, so we got our M4, flashlight is working. Let's go and throw on another mag. And then I should probably take some of these with us too. So I'm gonna go and get a chest rig, which we actually might already have one in here. Yes, we do. And then we'll grab some of these ammo pouches, throw these right on the top. Perfect, we'll throw you there. And then we can take a few extra of these mags inside of this. So we're going to go kind of heavy into this first raid, man. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing considering that we're going to be risking an M4, but in some ways, I'm really excited to try stuff like this because, like, I don't really get much of the gameplay like this. So this is going to be something completely new for me. Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we got our flashlight on. We got all of our stuff, all of our gear loaded, and I think we're about ready to go and dip our toes in into some missile silo gameplay. This is going to be exciting, man, because I, uh, I usually rock my MP40 or my Glock for the most part. I usually don't try to go in with much more than that, just because, like I said, I want to try to grow my armory as much as possible. And now, going in with this amount of loot, this is going to be bonkers, dude. Okay, so, now you guys can actually see my gameplay, too, which is going to be super nice. It's a win-win. It's a Only thing is, though, you guys might be able to see my gameplay, but players will also be able to know exactly where I am when I'm flashing these stinking lights. So we gotta be very, uh, very cautious about that. Sounds like we already got footsteps, which is okay. I wanna see if I can grab this looty and throw it in my backpack. But I saw this one guy do it. Okay, no, we'll just not worry about that right now. Okay, well, what else do we got in here? Ooh, sounds like a fight that's going on. We got a little, ooh, this is actually an AK rail off attachment. Awesome. Okay, let's try to keep this slow and low. Slow and low, baby. I could check the other room just to see if there's more loot in there, but right now, I kind of just want to go for kills, man. I really don't need that low-tier loot. He's, like, literally right next to me. Do it. 
peek it. <laughs> Dead. Okay, awesome. One down. Any more guys? I feel like they'll probably be rushing from that other side there, if there is more of them. What does he got? Just a bolt action thing there. Let's check the locker. See if we got anything. Ooh, G3. Okay, thank you very much. And a grenade. Bro, you're kidding. Okay. We'll go and throw the nade in here. Awesome. Then what else do we got? Oh, a laser sight? Bro, you're kidding. Nope. Gotta run, gotta run. Holy crap, this guy was like literally right on us. I'm gonna switch my mode to hopefully semi here, so I don't waste too many shots. Come on, peek it. Come back. Come back here. That guy just ran to the other room. I really don't want to push- Oh, God. There we go. Another one down. Two of these dudes are completely out of the fight. Just make sure that other dude doesn't try to peek our fights. We actually didn't even get hit yet, which is really, really good. Um, Pistol-wise, we got another Glock. Thank you. I will actually grab some of those extra mags while we're at it. Um... Because really can't go wrong with grabbing some of these extra ones. I kind of want to try to use a nade. It'd be really fun. And you know what? We should probably grab an extra stim. Okay, you'll be thrown in here. And also, huge shout out to. Oh! It's very close. I'm gonna switch to full auto. I'm gonna jump down. I know he's right by this ladder. Let's see if we can get a nade kill. Oh, shoot, I was really hoping. I was thinking he was like literally right by that other area. God, he sounds so close. I know it's another player. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go up, make some noise. I'm playing a little bit aggressive. Oh, it sounds like AI. Okay. So we got a mix of AI and another player that's coming around here too. Is he on that ladder? He sounds like he's like literally right below me. But he also might be right to my right. And we are on full auto, so we gotta keep that in mind. That's an AI, for sure. Okay, we'll push it. Oh, no. Dude, are you kidding? What the freak? My G3 wouldn't load! No! What was that crap? Bro! I couldn't get the G3. Did I rip the mag out? There's no way I just died to that dude. There's literally no way. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. I literally had so much stuff on me too. Bro! Talk about a freaking... Talk about a flop! Oh man. That is... That is so unfortunate. I am so sad about that. We had so much good stuff on us too. Like, holy. I was playing that so stupidly. Like, way too stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, let's go and throw you on the side. We're definitely gonna do another M4 run. Um, let me go and grab my other vest. I do need another backpack, because we're out of backpacks. Um, vest-wise, do we have an extra one? I think we do. Okay, so we'll go and throw the vest on. So let's go back here. We're gonna go and grab only two mags. I don't think we need more than that. We literally wasted like four mags of that literally running in. That's brutal. Oh my, I can't believe we just panicked that. All I had to do is just literally grab my M4 mag, literally swap that out and I would have been fine. I don't know why I didn't do that. I literally just like cracked under pressure and it was obvious that I cracked under pressure. That's just, that's unfortunate. So hopefully we'll, um, we'll be a lot better next time here. We'll go and buy a backpack. Man, I, I really need to get I really need to get some more loot because I, I don't want to go below a below a milli because we are pretty like we've definitely spent a good amount of money. I think we're at like a million like two hundred thousand. So like we've definitely lost a good amount of money here and I need to gain that back. So I think it's time for us to actually go and start making some of that money back too. So while we're at it, I'll go and sell these items because I don't think we really need them for anything other than the actual cash that they pay you for. So it looks like for this, Merrick will be spending the most money for our walkie-talkies. And then the hack tools, they'll also spend $22,000 on that too. Okay, so we got to keep in mind of looking for those pieces and actually looting those from the missile silo because that gives you a ton of money, man. Okay, so now that we got this, we got our extra mags, backpack. We should be good. We should theoretically 
be in the clear. We should be ready for this. This time, I'm not going to miss out on this. We are going to be coming out of this alive, and we're going to get a ton of kills. I want to shoot for like 10 enemies, bro. If we get like 10 enemy kills, we're golden. All right, ladies and gentlemen, attempt number two. First one definitely was not my proudest moment. I can say that right now. now it looks like we got a tunnel spawn, which is going to be a little bit less fortunate than most of our other runs because I typically prefer to spawn kind of over in the lighter areas or by the railroads just because I like that area a bit more and I heard footsteps. Sounds like to our right. Make sure that we don't walk right into a fight. Okay. Got shots. Try to listen. They'd be super quiet. There we go. One down. Another guy here. Oh, other guys heard my shots. Come on, peek it. I know you're coming. You can't shoot me through the floor, so we're okay. Oh my gosh. Dude, what is happening? There's so many enemies. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's so many shots. We got into a war zone. Okay, one second. This guy's gonna try to shoot me too. Peek it. Come on. I wanted to run down the stairs. Come on. Come down the stairs. You just wasted so much ammo. You know what? I'm switching to full auto. Try to shoot his leg. There we go. Okay, awesome. This guy can't shoot me from here. Oh. Nope. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. This is getting way too crazy. I'm just waiting for these guys to rush down. Oh my gosh. We didn't even get lit up that bad either. God, this is a huge fight. I don't want to shoot his toes. Oh, what? No way. No way. No way. Go. I'm out of mags? Already? You're kidding. How am I out of mags? Okay. Well... SKS, let's see what you got. Okay, you're loaded. Dude, I swear, if I die here, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my gosh. Talk about a freaking fight, dude. Our M4 is completely out, and we are super weak now. Okay, let's grab these extra mags. Not good. He's coming. I left my SKS over there, too. I'm going for it. Come on. Go. Okay. So we got this. How did I drop the extra mag? I could have swore I didn't use three of my uh, standard magazines yet, but I must have. It's already out. Unless, is this one of them? No, this is definitely an empty one. Did I just forget to store them? I have no clue. But that was the craziest start to a freaking extraction I've ever done. No joke. Give me a helmet. Oh my gosh, thank you. Nope. Come on. Where did my helmet go? I lost it. You gotta be kidding. I just like literally got the helmet. Talk about an unlucky start. <laughs> Everyone and everything's coming after us. Okay, we got some night vision goggles, which is great. Someone's opening a squeaky. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know if I'll even be able to store this. Yep. Okay, night vision goggles would have been great on that helmet, but... Okay. Well, just do what we can. Right, it's gonna be so dark now. Oh my god. I don't know where to go, man. I'm honestly, like, terrified. Don't have many heals. Tons of enemies heard those fights. Other players surely heard that fight, too. I'm super low on health. This is bad. This is bad, bad. I don't want to get greedy with loot right now. Lock. Okay. At least now we got an extra weapon. We could just evac right now. There's no enemies over here. I know there's heals on the other side. I might just go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna make some noise. Hopefully no players are waiting for it. Okay. We'll 
We'll stick that right in my arm. See if we can actually start healing up. There we go. So I was just popping the cap wrong on that thing. Our heals are actually going up this time. Good stuff. Well, while we're at it, I do want to check that other room because usually that has crazy loot there too. Let's see, MP5. That sounds like another player. Man, I really wish we could use that M4 longer. That thing was beaming. Like straight headshots all the time, dude. And even just like full auto body shots. Like that thing shreds. This is going to be a scary one, man. We've gotten a lot of kills. I don't even know how many we got. We at least got like six. Hopefully no one's camping evac. We got another vest. Oh, bro. We'll switch vest. Can I throw him on here? I can. Yes, dude. Okay. Well, throw you on that. Perfect. Now we got a bit more, a bit more armor to work with, which is really good. That doesn't look right. So this is the evac point that we can go to? Yes. Okay. So we can actually come back to this if we need to. Um, what else do we have here? What is this? Energy chews? Sure, I'll put them in there. Why not? Um, got some gunpowder. Can we stick that in? Okay. Energy chews. Can we go behind it? Perfect. Okay. SKS, we only got like two more megs left in this thing. But let's make do with what we got. Just gotta make sure we don't get headshotted. Because we got a really good SWAT vest here that we can use for shots. It can really soak up any of the body shots we get hit from other players. Just gotta make sure that no other players are actually walking near us. Because that would not be good. I'm gonna go and check this little box and see if we got any other goodies. A water bottle. That's it. I mean, I am a little bit thirsty, huh? Alright, well back to it. Get more pistol shots. At least it sounded like that. Either that or submachine gun. so sketchy. I hate going up these, these like great stairs or whatever you call them, like the metal stairs. It's just so loud. It like literally lets every player know where you're at. And plus with the amount of fights that went on here, people are definitely gonna come back. This is where he opened Squeaky. Is, did that guy run away from those other NPCs I wonder? Or maybe he's just camping out waiting for someone to come and peek. Oh that's scary bro. I don't like it because usually I like this close because then I, I know there's no other players that actually went here. Is he in here? Can't tell if that's anything. It's just a barrel. I hear him walking. I think he's right over here. Unless it's just water. That might just be the water. Stay quiet. Oh, I just made some noise. Shoot. Oh. Thank God for the industrial noise, but still. Gonna give me away. Yeah, this was all looted. He didn't get locker, though. Let's hope that we can find an extra mag. Or even a weapon. What do we got up here? Nothing? Yeah, just a looty. Just a looty patootie. Nothing good. How much time have we got left? 20 minutes left in our raid? We got some time to really look around, don't we, boys? We gotta try to get a player fight. We are heated up right now. It's too bad we don't got our M4, though. That'd help out a ton. So sorry if I'm like super quiet in the commentary. I'm trying my best to focus up to make sure we don't make a big mistake. We've done so much work in this run, and I do not want this to go down the drain. We've killed so many enemies, bro. I'm surprised we didn't get like any like crazy, crazy drops. Yeah. Going back to the garage, baby. Is this even opened? I don't think they opened this locker either. Oh, we're getting so lucky with these locker spawns. No one checks them. Dude, check your lockers. If you guys are playing, that is one of the biggest tips I can give you is check each of your... Oh, I hear a player. He's in garage. He's, he's literally in garage. It's either NPC or it's actual player. I can't tell by footsteps right now. I think that's NPC. I think we're in the clear.
That's what it seems like. Make our way over. Player death? Die! Right, thank you! That was a player death. Dude, he had a G3 too? Okay, well. Is this loaded? It is. Okay. G3's loaded. Check his backpack, see if he had anything good. Just a stem. I'll actually take that though. Alright, Glock. So you're right in there. Chilling in our backpack. Nothing in there. This is gonna be tough to choose between the SKS and the G3, but I feel like for more firepower, this is gonna be our best choice. What do we have on this guy? Do you have a pistol or anything? Like another Glock? No, he just had some really crappy pistol ammo. I think that's for like that, that Tar- not Tarkov. Markarov or Tarkarov or something. Not a good thing. Okay. Gonna take these, throw them in. Gonna throw extra megs in. We can always sell them if we don't need them. Um, little power bank. We can sell that. Got some trash. Okay, 16 minutes left. We can, we can spend a little bit more time in here. I'm game. We just gotta watch out because that other player that was in here that hurt us earlier, he's definitely aware of the fight that just went down. There hasn't been shots in a very long time. Okay, I gotta get back to the dark. There's some armor there. I think that's bait. Is that another backpack? Bro, you're kidding. Okay, you know what? Screw it, man. I think we're gonna go with what we got. We got two backpacks, G3, we got our M4 still. We're gonna leave the SKS. I think we're all right. Let's make sure that there's not any more enemy spawns. Okay. Make sure you don't spawn over here. Sometimes they like to come and pop up and show, uh, show themselves at like the last minute. So we got this evac, which is really good. I'll drop the backpack here. I'm gonna go check this locker one more time just to make sure if there's anything else left. Maybe even squeaky might be might be a good idea if no one's actually visited it yet. Oh sweet dude. Okay, yeah. Good thing that we actually checked. Might as well just see if we can find even better loot than usual. But every player knows that we're at squeaky now, so that's good. Um, helmets, please. Anything? Dude, thank you. Perfect. So we got an extra helmet. Um, nothing in there. What about spoons? Spoons, please. I would like all of your spoons. Every last one of them. Okay. We got more grips. Nice. Dude, an extra knife. I kind of want to chuck those at a player eventually. Like, that'd be so cool. Okay, we got some more gunpowder, which I don't know if we'll be able to fit. We can certainly try. Okay, gunpowder's in there. Should probably make sure I actually have a weapon on me just in case someone decides to come and peek. Ammunition, please. Nice. We might be able to fit this one in, actually. Some 357. Perfect. And then what else do we got in this box? Bro. Okay, I'm getting a little bit greedy with my loot, so we definitely need to get out of here soon. Oh my gosh. Some RAM. My backpack is looking sloppy right now. There better not be a player that pops in here. I swear to God. If he pops over here, he is dead though. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, let's go and open this up. Grab this. I'm really happy that we checked out Squeaky. This was a really good Squeaky run. Okay. G3's grabbed. I think we got everything else. Backpack sitting over by the extraction. Okay. Just make sure we make this jump. Perfect. We're looking good here. Doesn't sound like there's any other players. I'm going to grab another med pack. Getting a little bit greedy with this, but... Kind of tempted just to really stock up as much as possible. Plus, if we run into another fight, then we at least got some heals to use and some to take back home. I'm trying to listen to make sure that there isn't any other footsteps. It's so hard to hear in Garage. Okay. There shouldn't be any other players over here. Shouldn't be, keyword. I'm gonna check, though. Oh, there is some loot. Bro, a Galil? You're kidding. He must have fell down the locker and just died. Okay. No one's hiding there. I'm tempted to just take the Galil and not the backpack. Kind of tempted. And by kind of tempted, I mean like really, really tempted. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, what, what do we have in the backpack, though? I should check that just to make sure. 
Yeah, I think we're better off without it. Okay, we should be good. I literally just heard footsteps at the end of that too, bro. Like literally at the end. Oh my god, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kills. Eight kills, dude, I was talking about getting like a 10 kill extraction. That was pretty dang good. I'm actually really happy with the way that came out. Like, considering our first extraction, well, we didn't even have an extraction, we ended up dying. So we didn't even get an extraction last time. But this one, we got a brand new G3, we got a new Galil, and also a backpack full of a bunch of crap. We definitely have to go in a sword, because... This is just way too much stuff. Dude, our Galil collection is becoming huge at this point now. Like, yes, man. And it's actually one of my favorite weapons to use compared to the M4. Like, the M4 is all right, but I definitely do like the Galil a bit more than the M4 carbine. It's just like, I think the iron sights, I just prefer a bit more. Oh, bro. There's actually different... Dude. So there's actually different types of shots you can get with these. Oh, I actually got two of those same boxes, too. Dude, in the same run, we managed to get two new types of gunpowder, which is great. I'm not sure what AP is, but either way, that is really freaking cool. I didn't even know they had that in the game, bro. That is really awesome. Um, okay, so now that we got this, we'll go and drop the Nady Poo over on here. And then ammunition. Oh, we got so many of these freaking grips now, bro. Holy, 357, you can just go and sit over there. We got so many boxes of ammo now. I am so stoked. Um, ram stick, we don't really need it. We could probably just sell it. Uh, SKS, we'll throw you there. Oh my gosh, we should actually start using our SKS a bit more, because we have a ton of ammunition for it. Like, it's definitely expendable. Okay, this we can get rid of. Glock we'll probably keep. Um, we'll throw that on the wall, actually. Perfect. And then, heals we'll probably keep. And we'll get rid of everything else. I don't think we'll actually need the chews, right? What do the chews actually do for you? Is there anything good about them? I'm so happy that whoever in the comment section below on like the last video literally commented like, hey man, you've been using the stims wrong this entire time. Thank you. I, I was thinking like every time I popped the cap, that was what made it work. But it turned out when it's closed, that's when it's working and your controller vibrates and lets you know when you're actually healing. So we got it figured out now. We're all good. Man, it just feels so good to be able to come back to our warehouse and just see the massive gun wall that we're building now, man. Like this is just... This is just starting to really come along. Like, all the Galils in the back room. Like, we got all these on the wall. We got one shotgun over there. We got our M4, AK-47s. We got a Thompson now. Even, like, two L8s somehow. I don't even know how we found that. We got a G36, two G3s. I'm just, I'm feeling freaking good, dude. And not to mention all the freaking pistols we got, man. Like, we got a load of Glocky Poos on standby. So, like, literally all I have to do is just go and buy, like, you know, suppressors, even, like, flashlight attachments to go and throw on these bad boys. And then we're ready to go and, like, do some of our uh, missile silo raids and really uh, rock some players. But, yeah, on that, guys, I think that's going to be where we call it for this video. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on some more Ghost of Tabor, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the video content we post. But other than that, guys, as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I would have no. died! Well, no, right no. here. No! <laughs> Armageddon! Oh, yeah. yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!